Hi, I'm John Green. Welcome to my salon. This is Mental Floss Video, and is it just me, or are there fewer kids out there saying, when I grow up, I want to be the Roger Ebert of Waterslide Reviews? But Waterslide Critic is an actual paying job. In 2013, the company Splash World was on the hunt for somebody willing to wear a bathing suit to work, travel to exotic locations, think Tunisia, Egypt, Thailand, and then test and review their water slides for social media. And that's just the first of many facts about unbelievable jobs we're bringing to you today in this video presented by our friends at Allstate. Want to save prairie dogs' lives? Become a prairie dog remover. Several communities have laws that say that developers have to remove prairie dogs humanely. So the job of prairie dog relocation means you flush them out with dishwater, occasionally grab them with your hands, and move them to a starter burrow on fresh land. It's hard work, but it's rewarding. Prairie dog removers make between $50 and $100 per dog. Plenty of folks don't have time to stand in line, but still want the newest phone or pair of sneakers or passport. That's where a professional line sitter can help. Companies have popped up to meet all your line waiting needs, and a good line sitter can make up to $1,000 a week. If you want to know what a bad line sitter looks like, visit your local DMV. Recent studies have found that there are twice as many adults today who describe themselves as lonely as there were 30 years ago. So professional cuddling services are there to fill the gap. For $80 an hour, complete strangers will come to your house and cuddle you in a strictly platonic manner. Seriously, there's no funny business. I mean, except insofar as, as having a stranger cuddle you is its itself kind of funny. If you're a veterinarian or a chiropractor looking to specialize, there's always horse chiropractic, the practice of adjusting horse necks and bodies, which has been done since the 1890s. It can help a racehorse get back on track, helping them move better, even improving their immune system. But getting licensed isn't easy. It takes over 220 hours of horsework. If you want a quick job, may I suggest professional line sitter? If you love sculpting but can't afford marble or feel like it doesn't properly highlight your talents, maybe cheese carving is for you. From weddings to shows to fairs, if you live in the American Midwest, you can be a cheese carver. And really only if you live in the American Midwest. Sarah Kaufman, the world's best known cheese artist, who you'll be surprised to learn is from Wisconsin, once had to carve a seven foot tall dairy cow sitting on a throne. Speaking of livestock, goat herding is back in vogue. If you own goats, you can actually hire them to corporations as a kind of greener lawn mowing service. The goats arrive, eat all the brush in sight, leave some natural fertilizer, clearing yards without the need of machinery. That's that's similar to how lawns were kept in 19th century England, but it doesn't address the underlying question, which is why, of all the plants we could grow on our front lawns, we choose turf grass, which humans can't eat. And then there's the job of professional dog food taster. Dog food is, of course, big business, and each component of your puppy's chow has to taste right, and because humans can talk and dogs can't, that job falls to people. The job mostly involves taking cans off the assembly line and chomping down on a spoonful to check for consistency. Testers aren't actually obliged to swallow the stuff, but you know, who wouldn't want to? It's like you don't have to swallow the wine at a wine tasting, but you do. If you really want to make the big bucks in the dog food eating business, you'll also need to start developing recipes and writing reports. Not even eating pet food is free from paperwork these days. Of course, if dog food isn't your thing, there are lots of more reasonable taste testing jobs out there. In Britain, there are 46 people who go around to pubs and bars to make sure that they're serving beer at the perfect temperature and correct conditions. Ice cream testing may sound enviable, particularly if you're a professional dog food eater, but that doesn't mean the job is just eating from a fresh pint. Testers have to taste spoonfuls at various stages of the production run to make sure that the texture and taste is going to be just right. One taster even has his taste buds insured for a million dollars and eats ice cream from gold-plated spoons to make sure there are no off notes. I wonder what the going insurance premiums are for dog food taste tester. Tea tasting is a slightly different beast. To get that job, you'll need to spend five years of intense training, including practicing blindfolded to be able to identify all the details in a cup of tea. But you also need to be good when the blindfold comes off, because a big part of the gig involves analyzing the color of the tea. Before doctors are unleashed into the real world, they need to practice interviewing people who are sick, and how better to do that than with actors. For $15 to $20 an hour, a standardized patient is given a background, some health conditions, and motivation. It's not full time work. 
but you do get paid to practice being sick. And then there are snake milkers, the people who grab deadly snakes by the scruff and squeeze venom out of their fangs. Most of these people actually have graduate degrees in herpetology, but there's nothing stopping you from just going out there and milking your own snakes, except for, you know, safety, sanity. NPR found one milker, actually, whose background was in patent law, but why is juicing a reptile even a job? Well, in addition to making anti-venom, scientists studied the milk for its anticoagulation properties, useful for new heart attack and blood pressure medications. If your nostrils are your biggest asset, NASA has a job for you, because the agency hires a chief sniffer to smell every item that goes into space, down to the ink used on checklists. It's important because once something is in space, there's not a lot you can do about it, so that stink bomb is gonna be up there for potentially like a year. And speaking of space, as space tourism gets nearer to reality, food science is getting cutting edge. Like, the challenges are many. You can't cook things in a conventional way. Anything that can make crumbs has to go. It needs to be dense enough that it doesn't take up too much payload. If that tidbit about eating ice cream with a golden spoon sounded strange to you, there are actually whole industries devoted to how materials affect our palate. Like zinc spoons, for instance, can make cream taste better, but it makes other dishes taste more metallic. One British scientist is even working on a set of spoons with tasting notes so that you're always pairing the right spoon with the right taste. Of course, that might be partly in your head, and there are all sorts of other areas of food psychology to get involved in, including like how sound affects flavor. Low-pitch sounds can make chocolate taste more bitter, while high-pitched ones can bring out the sweetness. Lice picking may sound sound like a job you'd outsource to a mother gorilla, but it's steady business in New York City, because New York City schools have implemented a no head lice policy where if the child is found with head lice, they're sent home until they can prove that they are head lice free. So how do you certify a lice free child? Well, one of the easiest ways is to hire a removal service. For a few hundred dollars an hour, they come to your house and shampoo and comb the critters out of your hair. So that's how billionaires get rid of their lice. How do they get their newly bought yachts to their docks at home? Why a yacht delivery service, of of course, the hours can be long and there isn't as much shuffleboard as you think, but being a yacht delivery person is a great way to crew a boat while sailing the seas and getting paid for it. Rock climbing may seem more hobby than profession, but the skill is particularly useful at wind turbine farms. Instead of hiring cranes to clean the gunk off turbines, more and more companies lean on rock climbers to scurry up the base and polish the blades. And finally, I return to my salon to tell you that if sleeping is your thing, why not consider becoming a professional sleeper? You can put your talents to use in sleep research studies, although that often involves getting hooked up to medical devices, but there are lots of other places for you to laze your way to the top. New hotel chains frequently hire people to test drive their luxury mattresses, and mystery shopping companies send buyers to snooze on the clock as long as you can describe your experience well. Thanks again for watching Metal Floss Video, which is made with the help of all of these nice people and brought to you by our friends at Allstate. Let me know in the comments which of these jobs you'd like to have, and as we say in my hometown, don't forget to be awesome.